Still, Jehovah's Witnesses maintain that theirs is the only true religion. All others constitute the worldwide empire of false religion, the whore of Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. The Watchtower says these religions are guilty of spiritual fornication with the political and commercial rulers of the world and will all be slaughtered by God at Armageddon. Only the true Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses, will survive. F.M. Geip, a Watchtower spokesman and member of the headquarters staff, explains. Well, we feel Jehovah's Witnesses are the only true religion, otherwise we would be teaching something else. But the reason is because we follow the Bible completely. To support its beliefs, the Watchtower organization has published its own version of the Bible, called the New World Translation. To lend credence to this translation, the Watchtower Society has deliberately misquoted a number of well-known Greek scholars. Dr. J. R. Manti, an eminent Greek scholar, was one of the authorities quoted out of context. The Watchtower Society has implied that he supports their New World Translation. Dr. Manti disagrees. I have never found any so-called translation that goes so far away from what the scripture actually teaches as these books published by Jehovah's Witnesses. They are so far away from what there is in the original Hebrew and the original Greek. Dr. Manti called the Jehovah's Witness Bible a shocking mistranslation, obsolete and incorrect. You can't follow theirs because it's biased and uh, it's deceptive because they deliberately changed words in the passage of scripture to make it fit into their doctrine. They distorted the scripture in many passages, scores and scores of passages in the New Testament, dealing with the deity of Christ especially. To find additional support for their altered scriptures, the Watchtower has even turned to the occult. The New Testament, a Bible translation by Johannes Grieber, has been used as an authority in many of their publications. Johannes Grieber was a spiritualist, heavily involved with the occult. His translation was completed under the direction of spirit messengers, with the aid of his wife, who was a self-professed spirit medium. The willingness of the Watchtower to accept any authority is reflected in the words of Charles Taze Russell in the July 1879 issue of Zion's Watchtower, where he stated, a truth presented by Satan himself is just as true as a truth stated by God. Accept truth wherever you find it, no matter what it contradicts. This philosophy is reflected in the New World Translation of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses World Headquarters is doubling its size. News 12's Darius Radzius has more on this story. If they build it, they will produce. Where we're standing here down below, would be the 230,000 square foot AV production studios there. Matthew Mordecki with Jehovah's Witnesses gave me a tour of their 249 acre wooded property to show me where they're planning to build their massive production studios. It'll, it'll consolidate our other studios that we have around New York and it'll have six uh, state of the art audio and video production studios on site as well as the residents that will be there to work in those facilities. Located off Sterling Mine Road, he says this will be one of its largest facilities. We have our world headquarters just down the road three minutes from here. Uh, that's at about 1.5 million square feet. This is about 1.7 million square feet. Wardecki says the campus will be environmentally friendly, producing a lot of its own energy. We also have things like uh, geothermal wells that will help with our energy solution. We'll have a full solar field here that will feed battery backup and we'll have our own microgrid on site. People who work at the studios will also be able to live on campus in the residences that will also be built, along with fitness and dining facilities. The public will also be able to get a peek at their work. That same education work that's being produced here can also be reviewed at a visitor center. In Slotesburg, Darius Rantius, News 12. Planning for the project started back in 2019 and they hope to have it finished by 2026. Orange County District Attorney Dave Hubler is calling on state lawmakers to...
Russian President Vladimir Putin has pledged to look into the persecution of Jehovah's Witnesses in his country. Russia officially banned the denomination last year and declared them to be an extremist organization. Close to 100 people are facing charges in Russia and 25 of them are behind bars awaiting trial. Activists raised the issue with Putin who criticized extremism charges against the religion's followers. He also promised to look at the ongoing court cases. Before the ban in the country, the organization claimed about 100 170,000 adherents in Russia.